Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome back to Automobilista 2. We are here at Guayana. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but uh, we are in the 2024 stock cars. So we're going to do a full length race here. So that's 50 minutes plus a lap. And the uh, hopefully interesting part about this video is that I am testing the weather system here in AMS 2. It's something I haven't really done much of in this title. Um, I've always found that the AI was kind of out of balance when you go dry to wet to dry or vice versa or any combination of wet and dry. Uh, the AI tends to be out of balance. They tend to smoke me when it gets wet. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I had a really, really good experience with these stock cars last time out. I was driving at Cascavel, if you caught that video. Um, so I'm going to see if these stand up in... Uh, different weather conditions as well so uh, it should go overcast to rain to light cloud to sun at some stage during the race not sure exactly when that's going to happen but uh, I'm going to try and time my pit stop to uh, jump over the to the wets and then depending on when and by how much it dries up toward the end of the race maybe we can go back onto the slicks to finish so we'll see how we get on so 29 cars in the field 28 rather and uh currently running 15th here so got a lot of work to do if i'm going to be set up for success here and just rounding the final corner on the first lap holding on to that 15th position still there and by the way, still running the, the Thrustmaster T818 and the feeling of uh, force feedback through this wheel is phenomenal. Again, like I said during my review of the 32R leather wheel, uh, I think I need to re-review this T818 because I'm just so impressed by how good this feels. Uh, sometimes you get certain sims that just feel better with certain uh, wheel bases and it's possible that AMS2 just feels really, really good with this Thrustmaster. Uh, or this might just feel good overall, so going to do more testing. But regardless, that is my gear today. And I seem to be having no success at this AI level, so All maybe right. I set this too high. We'll see what happens here, but I did, I think, manage okay, to yeah, just sneak one good. position back. Yes, one back up back. into 15th. Nothing to brag about, but at least we got Still one back. Come on. Uh, there we go. Elbows out a little bit. No contact. Right rear corner. Is he still there? Okay. One oh. on your right. There we go. All clear. Seems to be clear now. Gonna protect the inside line. Obviously that's where the AI right likes corner. to go. Okay, okay. clear. So you can see the cloud One rolling right in. Behind. Still nice and bright here. Nothing He's to worry about at this point, I don't think. He's two legs back. One come leg on, back. come on, come on. Half leg back. Watch your line. Oh, he's right there. Right yeah, this could be dangerous. He's still there. So yeah, it could be a long race at this AI level. Seems to be right almost a perfect match for me, which Ain't good. I was hoping I would have somewhat of an advantage because I think, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to get Left. smoked when it comes to uh, the rainy conditions. <laughs> oh, clear. that was a free position. Two Did not expect back. that, but we will certainly take it. So I said it was overcast, but it doesn't look overcast, does it? On the right side. Did I get this? Or is he still there? There we go. Got it done. Up into 13th now. One leg back. Hurry for me. Still one, one leg, leg back. back. Still one leg, leg back. back. Half oh. leg back. Whoa. Too early on the boost there. One leg behind. behind. And if the car behind has boosted, he's gonna get back. the overtake done. Yeah, he's going up the inside right now. Gonna try and break a little bit later. Not good enough though. 
coming back at him here. Getting a little bit wide there, trying to force him, not quite into the grass, but make him think about me anyway. Alright, we are back into 13. I seem to have sort of found my groove here. This is not a track I'm all that familiar with, so uh, forgive me if my lines aren't great. And also forgive me if uh, the AI is not turned up to the level some of you might race at. I do love these stock cars so much, though. Mm, pardon me. And so I'm trying to learn some of the uh, proper tracks that these cars race at. Need to try Velocita, Velocita. All right, got to try and hold on to grip here a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I'm kicking my boost in too early. The so next time around, we'll try a little bit later. We'll wait till we're kind of mid corner for uh, engaging that. Yeah, so no sign of rain thus far. I think we're doing okay here for a little bit. We should continue to be in the dry. A little bit of front tire slippage there. Uh, I was trying to stick a nose on the inside of that corner. See if I can get through this blue car, but no such luck. This should do it. This should do Still it. There. You're good. Yes. Twelfth position now. And it's a nice course, actually. Quite flat. I tend to like a bit more elevation change. Oh, there's the rain. I tend to like a little bit more elevation change in my courses. But the corner structure here, really nice. One length back. Two lengths behind. There we go. Hit my boost at the right time. Still two lengths back. It's perfect. So I'm not gonna give up a position here. Up at the sixth gear, nearing 250 kilometers an hour, so I think that timing was actually really good. And the rain just kind of, it was spitting rain, as we like to say in Canada, just for a little bit. It seems to have stopped, and now it's back. So I need to watch out for my grip levels here. Now, having the uh, knowledge that it is going to be rainy gives me an advantage over the AI, I believe. So I might be able to cheat a bit and go in for wets before they do, but I think I'll hold off until I see the AI uh, going for it before I go for it myself. And thus far, still lots of grip. Just doing okay here. What are we, about nine minutes into this race? No signs of slipping thus far. But it is definitely coming down. So I'm going to start braking a little bit earlier here. He's two it's back. entirely possible that my struggles with uh, variable weather here in AMS2 are driver related as opposed to AI related. Maybe I'm just not good in the wet. Very possible. In fact, likely. See the water starting to build up on the cars in front of me a little bit. Few droplets appearing on the bodywork. Right side. 
This is tight. Come on, you're right. Short shift there, trying to maintain grip. Clear. Right nice side. Nice. On your right nice. side. <laughs> that was slippage. Okay, you're clear. One, One left back. back. So are they going in? Some of the field is. Okay, so next lap I'm going to go for it. That seems Half fair. Behind. One, One left behind. behind. Two left behind. behind. Okay. So I'm all the way up into fifth position. By dint of pit stops. He's two left behind, behind you. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, yeah, it is time. <laughs> Car behind me slipped as well, thankfully. Trying to configure my pit stop. Good, okay, I think we're good to go. There we go. Okay. So pit stop is queued up. We're going to the wets. Still there. And in trying to use Still the in cart management system, I've dropped back time. So this is You've going to be a rough lap. Back. Nice and easy on the braking here, giving myself plenty of time to turn in. So yeah, the track is fully wet now. No, 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 no. Okay, I gotta stay out. I think I would have cr either crashed into that car or got a pit speed violation there. So yeah, staying out one more lap. It's possible that I'm not the only one. I do see cars in front. So I know now that I need to take it a lot easier when prepping for my pit entry. Now I gotta survive this lap on these slick tires on very wet conditions. Come on, Mike, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, this was obviously a mistake. There's, uh, yeah, there's no grip to be had here. I don't know if I'm going to survive back to the pits, honestly. And this is costing me heaps of time. Good news is I'll have a pit to myself. <laughs> Yeah, I can just feel it hydroplaning. Like, this is miserable. This is Lando Norris 2021, 2022, Russia. Anybody remember that race? All right, here we go. We got it this time. 15 seconds we've lost because of this little stunt. Below 50. There we go. Okay. So no time penalty. Maybe I should have just taken the penalty. In hindsight, 10 seconds would have been better than the uh, damage to the race that I've incurred by staying out one extra lap. Who knows? All right. So what's are going on? we got 35 minutes left in the race. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Two other cars just now coming in. Uh, we're... Currently classified as second place. We got fuel. Should be enough to get us to the end of the race. We got tires going on. And I don't think I would have sustained any damage. So we shouldn't lose any time to repairs here. Okay. 
not the first one out. Interestingly, the rest of the field hasn't passed me, but I think I hear them going by now. So, okay, quickly, let's see where we rejoined. So what did I, I was as high as fifth for a while, but that was by dint of pit stops. So let's see here. So we've come out in 50, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen for the rest of this race, but the greater intent was to test, can I keep up with the AI? How does the AI behave in the wet? Ugh. Well, they behave by blinding me. Wow, that's a lot of spray. So these fresh, wet tires should pretty much be in their range already. I don't expect a long break-in period for these tires. Clear now. So thus far, pretty good pacing here. A little bit more grip on offer than the slicks, obviously, but it's not like it's dry on dry. This is still pretty slippy. Yeah, let's try and stay out of the spray. I feel like I got a shot here at getting a couple overtakes. Doesn't seem like the AI is tremendously fast in the wet. And water starting to build up here on the track. So yeah, we're going to be battling puddles, I suppose, for the rest of the race. Interesting to see the AI take different lines here. Oh yeah, that, ah, oof, that spray is miserable. Just trying to stay alive here, nice and easy on the braking, not trying to crash into anybody. That's one done. That's up to 16th now. I forgot to tell you I was back down to 17th after that pit stop. Left side. Nice, you're clear. There we go. 15 now. And the visibility is horrendous. I think that's accurate though. Ish. Right side. Nice one. You're clear. Right? We always see race cars spraying the car behind to a high degree. Maybe this is accurate. I like I like the fact that uh, you might have to take different lines to try and find visibility, not just finding the wet line, but uh Trying to improve your visibility, that's cool. Yeah, and overall the atmosphere of wet is really good here at AMS 2. Darker. Oh man. Can't see anything, can't see anything. Whoa. Come on, let's go, let's go. Using the boost, but uh, I don't think it's gonna do me any good. I can't see anything, where's my braking marker? Okay, I just had to back out of that one. I could not see my markers for braking. I should choose a tree or something, something that's more visible above the spray. And I am shredding this field, interestingly. This has never happened, this is Cool. Feels like it's rewarding me for uh, pushing myself a bit here in the wet. Like there's not a ton of grip. I'm I'm really fighting this, but I am managing to improve my position, and uh, that's nice. It feels rewarding. Still there. Two wide, right side. Thank you, AI, for staying wide. Watch your right. So the question, yeah, it's still raining. I can kind of see it on my side window here, just behind my A-pillar, uh, that it does seem like there's still some rain falling. 
It's hard to tell it from spray, of course, but uh, I do believe it might still be raining. Yeah, that does nothing. It just annoys me. Whoa. Oh. Messing with my windshield wipers. How bad was the damage? Car in front seemed to come out unscathed, so that's good. How's my car? Eh, yeah. Doesn't seem like I sustained too much. I'll pay the price when I come in for my next pit stop. Two legs back. If and when. And one leg back. Yeah, all I was doing was watching Watch my right. mirror. You've got a car right. Oh, look at that. Oh, another tag. That one wasn't my fault right though. Not side. much I could do there in the wet to get stopped. Okay, so that car just blew by me. So I might have some damage here that's affecting my straight line speed. I don't know. See if we can make up for it one in the corners. The yeah, that was a boneheaded move by me. Nice, you're clear. And after all that, I never got my uh, windshield wipers back on. There we go. All right, so you can see the line forming here. The sun is back shining. And already the track condition has improved. We're rapidly drying this track. He's still there. Okay, clear. You're good. Okay, good. That's up to ninth position now. So we're in the single digits. One left behind. One on your right. So, obviously not time to go back to the slicks yet, but you can kind of see the writing on the wall that in the 28 minutes left in this race, we will at some point probably be better off on the slicks. So I'm going to give it a bit of time here. I'm going to keep letting the field of cars dry this track, build a more optimal dry line. I don't want to have another accident, but thankfully I can see the signage boards at least. Interesting, the AI went up the inside there, had the overtake, but then backed out. On the left side. Oh, uh, hanging in there. Okay. Definitely kept clear. two tires on. Two tires might have been in the grass, but uh, I think I, I think that was clean. Sixth position. Finally, competitive racing in the wet in AMS two. Did I just hit the sweet spot? It's just these stock cars, or have things improved in the title and I can now use weather properly? I'm excited. The, a the weather system in AMS2 is uh, is fantastic in terms of, you know, programming it, how it looks, and I think uh, how it feels overall is really good as well. But again, I've just always struggled with AI racing, and uh, yeah, maybe it's a recent update, maybe I've improved as a driver, who knows, but this has been a totally different experience. This is really rewarding. I like it. I'm happy. So how much can I strip out of the time to the car ahead? Because that is a massive gap. That dry line, drying line is definitely offering really good grip here. So I think I am closing on these guys. I'm trying to be mindful of when would be the right time to switch back to the slicks here. Certainly enough time left in in the race to where it will be worth it. Uh, just got to make sure that there's not too many slippery patches like that. Because that on the slicks would be chaos. But that lovely Brazilian sun has come out to play. And at about half race time now. Lots of racing to go. Here at Goiania. 
and we have caught these guys. I've pulled a ton of time back on these guys on just this one lap. This is awesome. So you going in? Looks like some, unless I just didn't see that properly. I think some of the cars may have gone in for their pit. Feels a bit early to me. Yeah, maybe they didn't. <laughs> the feeling of the car pulling when you go through a puddle is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm just enamored with this T818 at the moment. And that force feedback feels incredible. We're shredding through this field. Watch your left. Up now into force. You good. All clear. Come on, let's go. You're holding me back. Two wide left, left side. Uh, come on. Let it go. He's still there. Yeah. Still left. Gotta be it, right? On nope. Left side. He's not giving up the fight. Left side. I could see him on my second monitor. Still there. Still there. Left, left side. side. This has been like half this lap. You He's been beside me. There we go. All right. I've got one, two left. So just two cars remain in front of me here. And I feel like the time is very soon to switch over to the slicks. Switch back to the slicks, I suppose. Only thing that's giving me pause is these puddles on the start-finish straight. How bad is that going to be? Although we're making short work of that as well. So maybe two, three more laps. I'll feel very confident. But I think turns like this with the rapidly drying track, I think this will be optimized on slicks, or rather, it'll be advantageous to be on slicks. But what do I know? And definitely through this section here. I mean, this feels fully dry. There's nothing to be concerned about in this area. spray there but not much oh yeah I've got damage to repair don't I that's right all right boys get it rolling I'm ready to get by here <laughs> Oh. All clear. Pit stop. Still not preferred by the lead car and the second place car. Oh. Yeah, probably for conditions like that. Ah, I've got to use my boost. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is bad. So maybe not yet for the slicks. That was a pretty brutal section there. Lots of spray. Alright, will I be able to hold on to this overtake? There we go. We are in the lead of this race with 20 minutes to go. Now, can I expand my lead? Now it's all on me. I have to uh, time my pit stop to my preference. I'm going to go in with 15 minutes to go, assuming my wet tires don't get super hot or anything from driving on this drying track. I'm thinking about 15 minutes to go. So five minutes from now, I'm going to try for an overtake. Excuse me, try for a pit stop, go back to the slicks. Now, interestingly, this is the part of the race I fear most. I'm a halfway decent driver 
in race conditions against the AI when I have somebody to follow. Left to my own devices, <laughs> it's not always great. So we'll see how I get on here. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much dry. You know what? Executive decision time. I can follow this line. There's no, that's a bit of a puddle right there. Two puddles, nothing much. I'm going slicks. Let's do it. What is there to lose? Besides the race, I suppose. Sorry about that. Just try to get my pit stop set up. There we go. So that should be it. We should be good to go. Just made a radio call that I'm coming in. So hopefully they are ready for me. And uh, let's do this. Let's see what happens in the remaining probably 15 minutes of the race once I get this pit stop done. 18 minutes to go currently. And yeah, car's feeling just fine. I'm starting to lose a bit of the front right tire. But nothing too bad. Alright, nice and easy, Mike. There we go. I think I should be the only one in this pit at the moment. Boy, this is a long, slow pit lane. My team there? My team is there, ready to welcome me. So no longer in first place, but that's fine. I think I will have an advantage going back to the slicks. Um, kind of a wild card as to what um, the AI will do as far as going back onto slicks, or will they stay out on the wets? Time will tell, but I think I should be able to gain several seconds per lap in the remaining 15 minutes. Oh, somebody behind me is pitting. You can see a pit crew coming out, so I don't think I'll be the only one to do this. There's uh, that water you see on my uh, driver's side window. That is actually the spray from the other cars, interestingly. So we've dropped way back in the field. How long will this repair take? Uh, it's not bad hammering out some bodywork I'm sure so we're gonna drop down to like pardon me fellas to like 20th yeah we're in 20th position here and we are away on the dry tires here 16 minutes 45 seconds to go need to watch those puddles Is he? I don't think there's anyone there, man. Yep. Spotter seeing ghosts. Alright, so I have no idea where my competitors are. Lots of grip here. Oh, it feels so good to be back on dry tires. This was the right tire for sure. Just so much more available to me. And there's a group of cars in front that I can only assume is on wet tires. So we should be able to reel these guys in in a hurry. Uh, if they don't pit here, they are doomed. I'm going to catch them very quickly. They're staying out. All right. So that big gap to the cars ahead, I should be able to close most of that in the subsequent lap. <laughs> Car got pretty sideways there. It's all right, we made it work. So you see, 
the tremendous speed advantage I have over these cars. Already, the distance of those cars dropping rapidly. So yeah, no question. I time my pit stop quite well, I think. Because these guys just don't stand a chance. One on the left. One left. That puts me back into ninth okay. position. <laughs> so there are eight more cars between myself and a victory. Where are those guys on the track? I don't know. Are they in the pits right now? Quite possibly. <laughs> we'll see where we land once everything's done and dusted with uh, pit stops. And thus far, no one in front of me, which tells me there could be folks in the pits right now. We'll see what happens to our position here. Uh, yeah, back to first. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's going to be it for the race. I don't really see a point in continuing this because I will just have a massive advantage. Barrichello showing seven seconds behind me here. Let's see what happens to that over the course of this next lap. If it drops, then uh, maybe I'll continue the race because that will mean I have somebody, somebody catching up to me, obviously. But if we're expanding on that lead, probably no point. This will be an easy W for me from here on in, I believe. Yeah, the track just about fully dry now. There's obviously that standing water on the straightaways. But nothing to really worry about. So yeah, it's just a fantastic drying system for the track surfaces here that uh, Reza has put together. Again, hunting down the dry line here. Little splash, not much to worry about. All right, so I have gained 10 seconds on that last lap here, so I am miles faster than the competition. There's no way that can sustain, all right? Something's gotta be wrong there. Let's see, we'll do this final lap here. And if it's indeed 10 seconds faster, then yeah, no point. I'll just be lapping cars and exposing myself to danger. Whoa! Oh boy. <laughs> Can't believe I caught that. It didn't actually, I didn't catch that. It caught itself, truth be told. Yeah, these cars are so good. They've done such a great job with these. Only gave back less than two seconds on that little slip there. So nothing too much to worry about. Oh, okay. So it doesn't appear that I am pulling away any longer. Obviously, we we had that little incident there. But uh, the AI closed the gap by more than what I lost on that little um, semi-spin. So the question is, are they really me in? So with 10 minutes to go, 10 minutes, 12 seconds, uh, I don't 
think I'm under threat, but let's see how this plays out. Yeah, it, it does appear they're reeling me in. I'm carrying far too much fuel here. I got about 50 liters remaining. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to go home with about 40 liters, if I'm not mistaken. So poor pit strategy on my part. So that is definitely holding me back. Carrying too much fuel, just one of the sloppiest mistakes you can make in racing. I'm somebody who tends to err on the side of having too much fuel, paranoid about running out, but at the same time, 40 liters in the tank when you cross the start finish line is, or when you cross the finish line rather, to end the race, uh, yeah, inexcusable, frankly. Yeah, they're reeling me in, though not by much. The lead hanging at around 15 seconds. It went from 7 to 17 in a lap, and now has dropped to 16 on the previous lap, to 15 here, so... Even if they are, in fact, reeling me in, it will not matter. They're not going to catch me in the last 8 minutes of the race. So I think we can wrap there. Yeah. Yeah, it's holding steady around 15. I think we could wrap there, but um, yeah, very impressed by the weather system. I need to uh, sort of rebalance the AI here. I think I could do with a bit more, uh, probably bump it up about 5% and try again. But uh, it's great to see that it's kind of balanced out because it used to be I would have to sort of uh, gain an early lead in the dry and then when it switched to wet I would get absolutely destroyed by the AI it just felt like they were driving in far more dry conditions than I was and um, yeah that's not the case here this has been a really good race and uh, very enjoyable again just got to bump it up slightly but uh, nice work to raise the studios these stock cars feel fantastic uh, track looks fantastic weather system held up beautifully so I definitely enjoyed this. Uh, let me know your own experiences in the comments with wet or drying weather. And uh, we will see you next time.